Ah, the road. That mythical beast of asphalt. We once tamed it in what became one of the strangest, most wonderful journeys of our lives. Back then, when we were young and unafraid, summer was coming to an end when Polly and Scott planned a road trip. The whole thing was bound to go off rails. This was the Prank Masters, after all. Scott Howell, 21, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. And Polly Geist, 22, a party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. I want to liberate. What? What? I want to liberate and bring freedom and democracy wherever I go right now. Why am I playing a dating game with you guys? Because I asked you nicely to and you said yes. Yep, that's true. Yep. Each of them were, by themselves, an agent of chaos. But together, together, they were the perfect combo for hijinks to ensue. Who in their right mind would have agreed to join them on such a trip? Who wants to be player one? Not you. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take this guy. Okay. Alright. Oz, uh, yellow Oz. L, 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 N, A, R. All capitals. Loader! I'll stick with he. Or if you're player two. I you wanna, wanna be, be the, the first one, the first girl. Alright. Oh, wait, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, your, your name is just all capitals. Yep, and that's fine. I'm, I'm happy with that. Yes. Uh, uh, Monty, I assume you want to be the green guy? No. Wait. Go to the other one. Mm. I don't know which one I want to be. Damn it. Flip a coin. I got a coin on me. Okay. You always uh, have a coin on you. What? There's no... I don't keep track of everything here, man. I, I, don't, I don't know what you want from me. I have I have a lot of D6s. I'm not going to roll a D6 to decide this. I'll just... Okay, heads or tails? Where the hell is the coin? I have a coin. Heads or tails? Uh, heads. Heads from a guy. Tails for girl. Okay. Heads. All right. I'm Frankenstein. Monty. They. That's it. Great. Our trip Shoot. vibes? Tune your trip vibes. Desert, tropical, lo-fi. Let's do lo-fi. I was going to say lo-fi seems pretty good. Oof. Was the road trip a dangerous idea? Yes. Was it poorly planned? Yes. Did we do it anyway? Fuck yes. For in the end, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. We are young and unafraid. My turn! I'm, I'm actually pretty afraid. Roadside Wig Museum, or Wig the museum. lake. Let's go to the lake. Okay. Uh... I help. Woof, woof. Who's watching who? Uh, I think I'll be Polygeist. Okay. Monty, you can be Scott since I'm the narrator. Oh. On a hot, sunny day like this, a lake visit is the perfect way to beat the heat. It's also the perfect excuse to see your hot friends in swimsuits. Not that you were fantasizing about that this whole time. Nope, definitely not. <laughs> anyway, what do you want to do now that you're here? Whoop. Okay, I gotta give this guy a good twist on the voice. Can you make it? Like, legible? Can you make it legible? Le yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's not the right word either. Polly, I've been meaning to ask you, how do you road trip? There's no shame in asking, Scott. Let me explain. All of us share six essential resources, and we need to manage them wisely to keep this trip afloat. All of us? So we need to yep. be careful, because the choices we make during the trip can affect these resources. And if one Oof. of them depletes completely, we can kiss this road trip goodbye. Oh, I get it. So our goal is to avoid running out of any resource and keep road tripping forever. No, no. The goal is to reach one of the six destinations every road trip leads to. Oh. I have yes. this travel guide that explains how each destination requires us to hoard a different resource. <laughs> you can Such check said guide whenever you want. Click on the destination tab. Enough expedition narrator voice inside our heads. We get it. Keep our resources far above zero and hoard enough of one resource to reach a destination. Let's go. Okay. Oh. Uh. Well, that is a drug warning. Uh. Go swimming. Build sand cal. I was stuck in that voice. Or collect seashells. This one What's feels accurate. What's the bottom one? Stamina. Okay. Uh. Magic. All right. No, it's you're having it's, fun building sand castles when you notice that your sandy abodes have acquired new tenants. Whoa, look, it's our big crabs are moving into our sand castle. Oh. I got, uh, I got it. I got it. Okay. You guys are like the king makers of the lake. Yep, and check out the king's brother, the king's brother sharpening that shell shard into a spear. I smell a regicide coming on. Oh. Oh. How oh. on heist? What are you doing at the lake? What are you doing here? Aren't you lifeguards? 
Oh yeah, good catch. It explains these rescue floaties and this whistle on my swimsuit says lifeguard. And that reminds me, it's the lifeguards. We gotta check to make sure your sand castles don't have to be OSHA violations. <laughs> yep, them are the rules for some reason. I could tell you already, but these castles aren't up to code at all. Bummer, dudes. We'll be back with the paperwork to condemn them. It would take five minutes to an hour, depending if we forget what we're doing on the way. <laughs> we have to do something for us, we can have our sand castles. Quickly, quick, click a great stuff, we'll have a place to call home. There's got to be some way to get the castles up to code before the lifeguards return. Time to save your crabs with total oaf annihilation. Uh. Which place save castles? Oh. Should probably ditch the murder pl- Yeah. What? Oh, are you sure? The murder plaza was like the best part of the castle. Oh, I wish I the long sculpty little blood would be so cool. How are King and Queen Snippy going to have knife? What? What was that? Actually, it's King Snippy. We're Scott. moving on. <laughs> King Snippy was mysteriously found dead with the seashell spear in his thorax. Oh, where was his body found? The murder plaza, obviously. It's thematic. You lose oh, two no. hype getting rid of the awesome murder plaza and its amazing sand torture devices, but it's for the best. Sad dudes. Ready for us to hand over our verdict? Stu, check it out. They got rid of the murder plaza. That puts you right in OSHA compliancy, my dudes. Oh, it's pretty easy. We didn't even have to clean out the hole in the mold in the guest house. Yeah, OSHA certifications are stupid easy to get. As long as you don't have asbestos, murder plazas, or less than three windows, you're good to go. Great, you gain two mind for the relaxing joy of building a sand castle. Sand is murder plaza. My turn. Yep. You want to go to the used car dealership or the cheap motel? Um... The cheap well, motel has, uh, unknown, uh, rewards. I'd like to go... A used car. I think we should go to the motel. Okie doke. God dang it. Finally, I can use some rest. The ghost rest? Not really. Why the hell are we going to the motel? There's no shame in sticking to a budget, but honestly, you might have been better off sleeping in the car. But hey, sometimes you just gotta, uh, rough it for a uh, night, it'll build character. Ring girl. At least that's what you tell yourself when you're browsing the abysmal room options available to you. Do you like to back down now? Though, which room will you rest in for the night? All right, oh, I'm gonna skip damn this. It, sure that I that's tutorial. I don't care enough. You f***ing interrupted me. Uh, um, what do you want to do, Earth? Uh, so that's just the whole floor, haunted room, or someone that's totally murdered, or the room with only one bed. Uh, I think the room with only one bed seems normal. Okie doke. <laughs> Wait, what? No! Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to share a bed with you guys. It'll be Boy, nice that was to a have real big the sensor bros bar. Pour, or me up at night. I wish everyone had good bros to share their beds with. If I could, I'd share a bed with the whole world so everybody could experience this joy. Eh, wish granted. Let's share a bed with the world, Scotty. Well, now you know. Oh, no. Uh, Polly posts a Greg's list. In, yeah, yeah, Greg's list. In se uh, se ad saying, bed sharing party, all are welcome. Soon you've got a line of potential bed sharers outside your room. You can take them, Monty. Is this, is this a free bed I'm in? It's, I was hotboxing in a, in a parking lot and a nap sounds really nice right about now. I'll take this one. Yeah. Free nap. Uh, it, I was planning to come back for my break late anyway. Your fork looks wrong there, bud. All right. Ghost of parties passed in the house. Let's slumber the heck out of this party. Hold on, Monty? I got it. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I'm on my computer, so I gotta, like, change this up real quick. This is the police! We heard about the free bed. We're, uh, here to confirm you haven't torn off the tag on your mattress. You wanna take that one, too? <laughs> <laughs> no, you are the only one that did an app on duty. Get a party, don't you know, Arthur! Oh, yeah, I think we're a little overconfident trying to fit the whole world in our bed. We pretty much only have room for one more person. Then we have a big decision to make. Earth, who should be the last person we let in our bed? Oh. Warm, Warm Walter, Walter big, big Spoon, spoon for, hire. for Hire, or Commander Night Knight, Survivor of the Pillow Wars. Well, both of these people are very nice. The, the f yes, all right. <laughs> all right, I kinda, yeah. I, I kind of like both of them. Um, Fair. You do? I do. Warm Walter looks oh. really nice. They're well, that is just in. And um, I like the Survivor of the Pillow Wars. That means they can defend us. So, um, what would they be defending us from? Apparently a lot, because this game has a lot of shenanigans afoot, you know? So Fair enough. Uh, well, who do you want to take? Pillow Survivor. I don't know! Ah! Ah! Pillow Survivor. 
I I guess um I like Commander Night Night. All right. Uh, <laughs> Rather than alone, my memories of dreaded pillow wars. I've never heard of the pillow wars. Were they scary? They were absolute hell. I was just a girl, then. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm keeping up with it. And then, and then starry-eyed and ready to protect the mattress kingdom with my life. But war changes you. We lost so many good soldiers. My pillowcase was soaked in the blood of friends and foes alike. Oh. Oh. What the? F Wait. Did you literally fight the war with pillows? Yeah, it was an old tradition of my kingdom's death, steeped in blood and feather stuffing. It was terrible. I could barely even look at a pillow now without hearing the comrades screams. But pillow fights are fun. When we go on, uh, we go on away games. Me and the other sports ball players have pillow fights in our underwear. It's a bonding. What the? F what the? F <laughs> <laughs> it's a bonding experience. <laughs> Want to show me how it's done? Take this. Oh no. Oh no. The PTSD for Commander Night Night is about to begin. It's okay. Foolish kids, you play and fight now, but because you don't understand or or what if you were there. Oh. There's broodingly into the distance. Hey, we got, hey, we got our hype back. back. We just yeah. lost stamina. Minus two stamina, you gained hot. Oh, it's, it's my turn, turn now. Yep, your turn. You want to go to Doom's Diner? Doom's Diner or. Or the Charming Village. That looks like a cult of the lamb circle. I should say no in spite of Sun, honestly. Which, by what? the way, one of you guys should check on Sun. He's really into that game for some reason. Uh, no, I know. Oof. Screw it. Go to the right. All right. To Charming, Charming Village. Village. Let's go. Finally, some respite from wacky stuff. Whoop. Oh, no. Whoop. What? Why is Why the car, the car stopped? stopped? Oh, I'm gonna dizzy watching our resources go up and down. Yeah, man. Is it even possible to know what we're losing before gaining beforehand? All right, skipping. When you hover over the thing, it'll show the, the symbols here being different. This idyllic little village is filled with flowers, maypoles, and celebration like. galore. Which means that, uh, like. there's gonna be something weird going on here, right? Nobody's this happy all the time, right? They're skinned. Oh. Their skin's turned inside out. They're pure, pure muscle. And maybe they're just, you're just being paranoid. This is a chance to have fun. What do you do first? This will lose us money. This the, will lose us soul. Visit a shady landmark. Join the local celebration or meet the locals. Uh, what would you want to do? Screw it. Let's meet some locals. All right. You're checking out the ID. Idyllic little neighborhoods idyllic. in this strange idyllic little neighborhoods in this strange village when a local family calls you out. Oh dear sweet god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Welcome to our home, outsiders. It's been so long since we have such friendly, fleshy visitors. Won't you have dinner with us? I'd rather I'd <laughs> Sure, I'd love dinner at treasures. The couple this... takes you to their cottage. It's oh. filled with a cute needlepoint and the stuff says, Bless this mess, and all hail the fleshless overlord. The potato skins are in the oven. We just love potatoes. Especially when we get to peel their sinful flesh from their soft, delicate bodies. <laughs> this is awful. Oh. Now, shall we pass the time before dinner's ready? Do you like games? We can play a drinking game. The last person to skin themselves alive has to take a shot. Oh. Right. Uh... Polly doesn't what? have skin. <laughs> Only joking. Let's play charades. That's always fun. The wife uh, goes first. She holds up t six fingers, then she uh, pantomimes, scrapping someone off, scraping something, something off her arms and screaming in agonizing pain. I know. You're sacrificing your skin to graft them it. That's one point for us. That's five words all right i gotta ask why the skin fix fixation it seems like something you two are really passionate about yes thank you for noticing we peeled ourselves like a ghost that we could be remade under the light of craft amid the fleshless overlord is is that like the thing from elden ring i don't, I don't know, know. i don't play elden ring so i wouldn't know did you eat some did you go to the charity for furless dogs oh no we just kept them. We thought they'd come in handy someday, but really, they've just been gathering dust in the whole closet. Oh, could we have them? What? Why the f would you want that? <laughs> I don't know. That's an odd request, but I don't see why not. Oh, free skin! I can't quite tell why to do so many things with it. Like, hmm. hey, Monty, what do you do with free skin? Oh, what do I do with free skin? Yeah, oh, Monty, God, what do you do with do free with... skin? Well. Use it Choose as your answer one. wisely. Your girlfriend's in the call. Use it as an alternative option for those moments in which you don't feel comfortable in your own skin. Use it to or. 
Wow. You designed a <laughs> fashionable outfit that redefines the notion of showing some skin. <laughs> that's kind of funny, though, and messed up. Ah, that first one connects a bit more to home, but that second one. Yep. What you want to do, Monty? I mean, I'm already a wolf in sheep's clothing. Let's go with the first one. All right. Okay, I'm just going to make a mini skirt out of it and call it a skinny skirt. But that's cool. You can have your character arc. Already <laughs> did, man. You'll wear even more skin. Oh, Double no. skin. Well, we're tolerant of your religious beliefs, but only if you practice them far away from us, where we cannot see your disgusting ideals. Goodbye. A couple kicks you out, but it's... Oh, it's okay, because you got what you wanted. If In this new skin, you're finally comfortable enough to d do so many new things. Like return that library book you checked out seven years ago and forgot about. You don't have to be anxious about the clerk giving you a stern look in this skin. Also, jet skiing, salsa dancing, skinny dipping. All things you've always wanted to try, but never quite had the confidence to do. I, I, I didn't stop it from skinny dipping. You're feeling so good in this skin, you decide to do something really wild. You call your dad. <sighs> His oh, traditional God, upbringing left him a little emotionally a unavailable, and you tell him that you love him. I love you too, sport, it says your dad. I don't know what's come over you recently, but I'm glad you're thriving and confident. Oh, you gain plus two mind, but lose two height because self-actualization, while nice, is admitting a little comfort. Corny and Corny lame. And lame. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is wrong with this game? A futuristic gas that station. Was a lot. Or, a, or abandoned village. You don't say! <laughs> I think we should up our mind. Let's go and up our mind in yeah, the abandoned uh, village. Well, we're, our mind's already at 14. Yeah, but More. I think if you max out something, you get a good ending. I mean, I can look at this. A 25, if anything. Okay. How's my dad doing? <laughs> Wow, this, there's nobody here. You've been wandering this village for a bit and haven't met another living soul. What could have happened in this... To all the inhabitants, all their stuff is still here. Hmm. Well, you suppose the first order of business is to... Oh, well, time for drugs. Let's get one. Okay, well, there's a drug warning for you guys. The mystery is afoot. You and your friends begin searching the village for clues and run into your friend, Joy. Uh... Like, oh my god. Wow, what are you guys doing here? I thought this place was abandoned. It is. That's why we're investigating what happened. Why don't you compare clues? I found some really compelling raw hide earlier before I ate it. Was it the skin no, suit? I don't know. Ew. No offense, but I rather work alone. Whatever took all these villagers could be seriously evil. You guys should leave this to the world saving professional. Shut the f up. Come on, we could totally figure this out together. I, for one, think everyone realizes village sucks and they all move to Vegas. Sure. If you guys really want to help me, why don't you try stopping the Rubik's Cube I found? It's a very important clue. Definitely. I'll solve it. 20 minutes later. Well, I'm stopped. This would be easier if it wasn't colorblind. This is booty. Joey only gave us that clue to distract us from the real investigation. She doesn't think we're competent detectives. Oh, then let's solve the case before she does. If we find the answer first, Joey will finally see how good and smart we are. Good call, Scotty. We'll be a regular Sherlock and Watson. I'm great at what am I? people's micro expressions to deduce what they're thinking about. You're a handmade Doesn't Watson pizza. Have, a, have a wife? Uh -huh. Oh, oh, do me. What do my micro expressions say what I'm thinking about? Uh, milk bones? No, wait, you're thinking about sports. Final answer, am I right? You're asking me? I don't know what I'm thinking about. That's why I needed you to tell me. It doesn't take a detective to see that Polly and Scott are hopeless at this uh, on their own. Yeah, really? Luckily, you know exactly how to turn them into great investigators. You get fancy technology to enact the ultimate investigation technique. Zoom and enhance. <laughs> you need to... You need the acute perception of Sherlock Holmes who would analyze a myriad of details just by looking at the crime scene. His secret? Doing lots of... You spend too money on some oh. zoom and enhance software. Uh, you and your friends use it to scrutinize scrutinize a photo of the village taken a week before go. everyone vanished. What's that on the roof of the bowling alley? Luna, zoom in on that. There's a janitor on the roof. He's doing it. The fairy janitor thing. Nah, he looks pretty boring. Maybe this wasn't the lead we needed. Are you sure? Luna, zoom in on that wrench in the janitor's tool belt. Luckily, is suspicious. How so? Maybe the janitor was going to use the wrench to loosen the bolts. They were holding the city together. You won't let Scott beat himself up. You zoom and enhance some of the wrench even further. Sure, uh, sure that you'll find something. Whoa, you can see all the atoms that make up the wrench. Look at all that molecular chaos. Can we do anything with that? <gasps> Maybe the villagers disappeared because they all succumbed to the chaotic destruction of entropy that occurs at the atomic level every day. Dang, that's a really good explanation. What'd you call it that, Scott? I don't know. I already forgot what I said. 
Should we go bowling? You know, you show Joy the evidence that you've gathered on your way to the bowling alley. She's underwhelmed, but you know you cracked this case wide open. You gave two mind. Oh my god, that's so boring. Oh my god. Time to stop, Time to stop and get, and some, get rest. some rest. Oh, skip. But no, that was important. It's fine. Uh, uh all right. We don't have money. Info board, bus info board. Put me Where are you with, going, uh, Earth? Put me with uh, the Scotty and Polly. All right, Monty's turn. I want to be at the bus stop. Later that night, Lunar's turn. Are you on her first? This is the map info board. When you, where you can do two things. You can check a map that shows three potential locations nearby. Choose a location to learn how to get there. This guarantees that that location will appear on your next turn. On the other hand, you can use the phone to call hitchhikers. When you visit the bus stop next week, the hitchhiker you called will be there. Those two options are all about taking an extra step to secure an outcome you want, be it a location or a hitchhiker. Uh, you decided this, so did you skip the hitchhiker to pick a location, man. Uh, we need stamina, which we can get from two of these. Uh, ba -da -ba 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 Let's do rave in the desert. Welcome to the benches where you can relax and talk with Polly and Scott. The conversations you can hold with them are a chill narrative uh, threat with no choices that treat. be made. Treat? What do you mean threat? Treat. It was a treat. Yes. <laughs> if you have enough conversations, you might score a date ending with one of them. Also, by having a conversation with Polly and one. Scott, you can activate the chaotic energy passive effect, which will remain active for the following week. What does it do exactly? Find out for yourself. Now go have some small talk. I want to talk to Scott. Okay. <laughs> I want to talk about his interest in the night sky. All right, here we go. Oh, stars rock hard, don't they, bro? I love looking at them. They are pretty. How old are they? Oh, my God. <laughs> like, what are they made out of? Or where are they going during the day? Astronomy's biggest unsolved mysteries. I also really like how stars are team players. They, like, they shine brightly by themselves, but they're still buddy up to make constellations. There's the... Well, it was apparently my birthday constellation, the little crab. It's one of the hardest constellations to see, but I keep an eye on it so it doesn't feel ignored. Oh, go, little crab, go! I'm trying to learn all the constellations, but until I do, I like to think up constellation names of my own. Oh, okay. What's the name of that constellation there? That one is the Playful Pelican. It represents the pelican in rumors. Say it's very playful. What about that one? That bro. I think that one is a sky umbrella. It looks like an umbrella, and I like to think it protects the other stars when it rains so they don't get wet. Scott. Yeah? I think those names are very cool. Oh, oh Earth's blushing. Oh, cool. Oh, thanks, bro. You keep looking at the stars as Scott tells you about the different constellations he's made up. It's a warm, cozy night. Chaotic energy. When the prank masters go hit uh, hijinks and sue, can you handle the conjectures of this mess? Next week, all resources gained are, and losses from events are increased by one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My bad. <sighs> this is the bus stop. You can either check for hitchhikers to pick up or have a conversation with the one that you've already that's already riding with you. Conversations are a chill narrative treat with no choices to be made. If you hold enough conversations with the same hitchhiker, you might score a date ending. Additionally, each time someone interacts with a hitchhiker, the passive effect is triggered. As you play, you'll learn uh, blah, 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 blah. Only one hitchhiker at a time. Who do you want to take? You want to take oh my God, Moss Princess, or Joy? Or you want to take Moss? No, 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 no. That is Mothman. It is Mothman. Uh, for I gotta go with Mothman. For one week, every turn, you'll gain a random resource and lose another random resource. I gotta take Mothman. Okay. I don't like you. I'm going for Mothman. Mossman. You invite you invite Mossman Moss to join your road trip. I'd love to join you. Thanks, Morty. I have so much gossip to catch you up on. You won't believe what Martha Manticore is dating this week. Oh, really? I didn't even get to talk to them much. Get ready to take first. on the road. Earth's first. Here we go. Nine to go, and we unlock the mind ending. I mean, also. Where are we going? Uh, let's see. Huh? How far are we going with this video, by the oh way? Oh, my gosh. Oh. How far are we? That's a good question. Uh, there's a wedding thing on the right. I want to go to the wedding. We're wedding crashes. You know what? We're just going to go till we get an ending. Why oh, not? No, spooky. That's going to take us two hours. Yeah, it's going to take us a while. I'll probably after um, this, these, this round or, you know, after sure. my thing. Yeah. Ah, weddings. The union of two or more soulmates pledging life to one and, and love to each other for the rest of their days. If you believe in that true love stuff, if, if not, at least weddings are a fun place to dress fancy and get drunk. They're also fun to crash, which is what you're doing now. Shh. So what do you want to do? Shh. Leave me alone. Um, Each of the three options will affect every any resource either a bit, somewhat, or a lot. Catch a bridal bouquet. Speak now for hold your peas or take the. Uh, this one is apparently highly sexual. Um, right. I'd rather like to catch the bridal bouquet. All right. Get that damn bouquet, Earth. 
It's time for the bouquet toss. You've been training oh, your entire oh, life for this moment. Oh, God damn. Oh, wow. Dang, Earth, you really want that bouquet. Let me guess, you're anxious to find that special someone and do the... Oh. Oh. Right here, I thought of your... What? What? <laughs> what is happening? Nope, you're Earth. <laughs> if only because I said so, which means you need to catch that freaking bouquet. I don't get it. What does catching a bouquet of flowers have to do with finding love? This is catching? really pretty. This outfit's really pretty. Catching the bride's bouquet is tradition. Whoever catches it will supposedly get married next. It's nonsense, but it's fun nonsense. I just noticed that I'm really, I really like this outfit. This is a second uh, not ethereal being that has attracted me. It sparkles. Moving on. <laughs> oh, it's not cool. I've always wanted to have a hobby that combined romance and full content sports. I just like how chaotic the whole thing is. Everybody's throwing down to catch some flowers because I really want, it's awesome. I'm rooting for your earth. Don't be afraid to tear someone's hair out to get that bouquet. <laughs> what? <laughs> The pressure is really on now, not only to catch the bouquet, but to impress your friends, too. You need a foolproof plan to snatch those flowers. Think of something. Hmm, what's the... I want to track her on the bouquet so you never lose sight of it. Those flowers aren't going anywhere. Don't leave anything a chance. It's time to spend wish number one from the monkey's paw ask to catch the goddamn bouquet. <laughs> Okay. That's a reference. Um, hmm. Tracker or wish? Monkey's paw wish. I'm monkey's going paw. to do it. I'm, I'm going to do the monkey's paw. Monkey's paw? Okay. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Remember what time you got a, that time you got a monkey's paw from a creepy old man in a dark magic shop? No? Well, that's what flashbacks are for. You happened upon the shop while you were walking <laughs> to the supermarket to satisfy your late night cheese doodles craving. Ooh. Monty, you want to take them? I've got something better than snack foods. I've got a highly dangerous magical artifact like this monkey's paw interested. Totally! With something like that, you could wish for unlimited cheese noodles! Yeah, don't just wish for cheese noodles. This paw is only for big emergencies. Don't you know the consequences of using cursed magic? Sheesh, you'd have a mind to wish for the paw to shut the old man up, but you promised to use it wisely and left wishing... I mean... Left, what? watching the shop turn into smoke. And now, you're keeping your promise by wishing to catch a bouquet of flowers. A symbolic love gesture with little to no real meaning. Nice! Wouldn't it make more sense for Earth to just wish on a paw to get married if that's what she wants anyway? Let's go, Scotty. It's a waste of time trying to get Earth to do things the logical way. You're damn, damn right. Oh, that's a... Oof. Minus three magic, plus three hype. Thank God we were fine on magic. Uh, just be thankful smarts is not a stat you need in this game. Whoop. Oh crap! We got a random sure. money up and stamina down. We might need to call it here, actually. Let's just yep, call it I here then. I think that's probably gonna be it. Does it save automatically? Oh, yep. I think. I think. No, I don't know. Well, if you want to see us play more uh, Monster Prom Road Trip, let us know in the comment section down below. We'd greatly appreciate it. But we've been Lunar Earth and Monty on the Lunar and Earth Show, and we'll see you all next time. Uh, see you tomorrow. Bye bye, everybody. Bye everybody. Uh... Uh...